Let's move on. 1 p.m. Eastern is next up for us. Detroit Lions, 9-3, and 5-1 and one on the road. Chicago Bears, 4-8, and 2-3 and three at home. Soldier Field in Chicago, Illinois. 36 Fahrenheit snow showers, 19-mile-per-hour winds. We have inclement weather this week uh, across a bunch of games. And, I, you know, I moved on two spots where there's inclement weather. And, I, you know, we'll, we'll get to them. I certainly understand the move in this game with the wind. Uh, But let's talk about it here. First off, from a side perspective, there has been a huge move to the Chicago Bears. And I get it. I completely get it. It opened up at four and a half at the Pick'em. Opened up at four and a half at the Pick'em and lasted that uh, there for four minutes. That's it. Four minutes till it moved to four. And then it moved to three. It's not a real three. Detroit's minus 119. It's like a three and a half. But I also I find the Bears very appealing, and I'm really interested in the opportunity of fading the Lions in the playoffs. But I think a lot of people are feeling similar about this Lions squad. This total is at 39 and a half. It opened up at 45 and a half. You know, I could have got in on it this morning at 41 and a half. But I did feel like I'd miss the boat, uh, that I'd miss the opportunity. And we'll discuss this a little more. Uh, So let's get into the cash flow for this spot, Lions, Bears. We have 74% of the tickets and 69% of the cash on the Bears. And breaking down the stats and what they've been doing lately defensively, I get it. Then we have 58% of the tickets and 93% cash on the under. Lions come in off a 33-28 victory at the Saints. They built a 21-0 lead. They were up 24-7 at the half, and they had to hold on for the win. Uh, Jared Goff, 16-25 for 213 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Sammy Laporta, nine catches for 140 yards and a touchdown. Rest of the team had seven catches for 73 yards. Uh, he Only six rookie tight ends have ever had 140 yards receiving and a touchdown in the game, and no one's done it since 1995, and that was a... Pete Mitchell for the Jags. Jameer Gibbs ran eight times for 60 yards. Montgomery ran 18 times for 56 yards and a touchdown. They went six of 13 on third down, and they are 10th in the league converting third downs 43% of the time. You know, their offense is good. They're, they're not great, but it's good. Uh, they were three of five in the red zone. They're 12th in the red zone uh, offensively, scoring touchdowns on 55.8% of red zone drives. But the Lions defense looks worse and worse as the season goes on. They've allowed 30.25 points per game over their last four. Uh, They let the Saints go 6 of 12 on third down. They're 12th in third down defense, allowing opponents to convert 37.4% of opportunities. The Saints were a perfect 4 for 4 in the red zone. Detroit is tied with the Panthers for the second worst red zone defense in the league, uh, giving up touchdowns on 71.8% of opponent red zone drives. I mean, they're just an over machine. You know, and and I came into that game capping it last week because all I was wanting to do is get in on the overs. I still end up moving late on the over, full game over, but I wanted first half over, full game over. Detroit should be giving us overs nonstop. Now, is this wind uh, uh, too big of an issue? Or how low does this total go because of the wind and the snow? Pass rush finished with two sacks, seven quarterback hits. Frank Ragnow, uh, Monday, they had MRI on his injured knee. He's probably going to miss this week's game against the Bears. But they're kind of deep here. They have Graham Glasgow, who can slide over to center. And then, then they'll have to use Sorsdahl, Colby Sorsdahl, in that guard to replace you know, Ragnow, basically, if Glasgow moves over. Uh, the Lions continued to be able to run the ball uh, and protect Goff after Ragnow's injury. Uh, you know, They ran for 142 yards, two touchdowns, only one sack against the Saints. Uh, and you know, the, there's also a chance that Alex Anzalone will return from his hand injury. Uh, he was out in the uh, for the Saints game. The Bears coming off their bye week. They were last seen an ugly 12-10 win at Minnesota in Week 12. They've gone from being ranked 29th in total defense to 9th. That's all since Week 5. That's since a Week 5 win at Washington. The defense led the way against the Vikings, held Minnesota 242 yards, just two third down conversions and nine tries. Uh, so their third down defense is everything's improving. Their secondary is healthy and playing very well. Uh, Jalen Johnson is rolling right now. Three interceptions in the past six weeks. The Bears have forced four turnovers in back to back games. Seven interceptions over that span. They're still thirtieth in third down defense. Uh, 
you know, and they're, they're still last in red zone defense, but we see it with our eyes and the stats are telling us that this is a much better defense than we remember. And Fields is playing well. 12 touchdowns, six picks, 92.3 passer rating. That's 13th in the NFL. He's also run for 400 yards. Bears are 11th in red zone offense, scoring touchdowns on 58% of red zone drives. And they're ninth on third down, converting 43.3% of them. I want the Bears. And I'm curious what you think about this total in the snow, because I know you've played in it. Snow, 19 mile per hour wins. Take it away, Troy. You know, I knew the Bears would be taking money in this game. On Sunday morning, I was, um, or Monday morning, early in the morning, I was looking at this game, and I just knew the Bears were going to take money. They were sitting at three and a half, and I had to take it. Not realizing, you know, on the back end, when I got to, you know, when I got out to Nashville, I pulled up and opened the database, and I didn't like the trend that I see, and I'll get into that. But just looking at this Bears, you know they were going to take money. You got December weather. This is before I even looked at the forecast. I knew it was going to be perfect conditions when you want where you want golf outdoors in December. That's exactly uh, where you want to fade golf. And the Bears have the ability to stop the run. They have an uptrending defense. You, you touched on that. I agree with that completely. I don't think it's fraudulent. They're playing good football. And they have revenge in a game that, in my opinion, um, they should have won. Well, I don't think it's my opinion. I think everyone has the same opinion. They should have won that game in Detroit. And I know I've said, you know, I'd rather take a worse line than three. But when you can predict the market move, right, you know, sometimes and here's the thing. I made a note on this before I found out what the database. I'm going to skip over that. But Justin Fields and this coaching staff, they're playing for their careers. Their careers are on the line. I think the Lions are vulnerable and I want to attack them. However, lines that move and close at plus three after a move to the road team. So the home team closes at plus three after a move towards the road team. Two and seven ATS, and I'm missing a few weeks. There's a few more that probably fall into this category. So it's not a favorable trend. It says the line maybe gets too far, goes too far when the home team's a dog. It's much different than when the road team's a dog. But this this is concerning to me. I'm fading the database. I'm on the Bears plus three and a half. What do you think of this total? Are, are, are we getting to a point where it's it's too low because the Lions – defense is that bad and you you should expect in those type of conditions justin's fields to be activated on the ground and scrambling and using his legs to make plays happen because he's still playing for his life now like you're playing for big money for justin fields right now um i think the total is getting a little bit too low but i'm not i don't know if i want to jump in front of it because those 19 mile an hour winds out there by lakeshore drive they're no joke uh, and they're crisp. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be very difficult conditions. But sometimes those difficult conditions turn into defensive points. I could also see that. So uh, a lot of ways this game can get over the total if it keeps dropping. And I wonder if it's the team total that we should be looking at here. Uh, the three and a half for the Bears is now minus one eighteen. The threes at plus one oh six. The team total for the Bears is twenty and a half. That's it's pretty high. Why would it be that high? I didn't expect it to be. The team total for the Bears is 20 and a half, and the total. Oh, cool. that's because, sorry, I took a closer look. God, the Pinnacle is so scared of this game. The over 20 and a half is plus 140, and they're not giving you an alternate line. Yeah. And the over 24 and a half for the Lions is plus 168, and they're not giving you an alternate line. Let's they do see not. What, yeah, let's see what if I could find anything out oh, here. Yeah. I'll have to pull up that 365, but that's a clear sign that. They don't want you betting team total unders. Uh, it's wild here. I'll just pull this up here because at least at 365, you'll be able to do whatever you want with the team total. So here for the team total for the Bears, uh, God, they, they won't give you it. They'll give you an over 16 and a half at minus 150 or an over 19 and a half at plus 110. It's a mess, an absolute mess. So I guess we got to wait a little bit for that. Uh, Brent Cook says, I like the Bears, but Detroit could just breathe and cover. Uh, Goff in his tiny little hands outside. I mean, the Detroit Lions so used to playing indoors. I mean, I just. On FanDuel, you can get Bears over 18 and a half for minus 116. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I feel like the Bears are um, the look. So you, what did you get on the plus three and a half? I got minus 110. I got uh, even money. Pick them. 
Bears plus three and a half at minus one ten. Let's just take another look at this. Seventy four percent of the tickets, sixty nine percent of cash on the Bears. Yeah, I want them. There's top set in the house. Okay, uh, Troy is on the Bears. I'm very interested to see how low this total goes. I, I'm not going to move on the market uh, or on the total market right now, but I do think I want Bears in my pocket here. Uh, Bears at home coming off a bye, and I just don't trust the Lions. Let's get the Lions outside in the cold. 